I said. Where's the rest? Where is the money? What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. I spent 15 years working in Washington, D.C. in the corporate press and in corporate PR, and so I know a thing or two about crisis PR. And let me tell you something right now. Oprah is going through a crisis. Oprah released this mewling video with The Rock, who's also from Hawaii, to his great shame partnering with Oprah in this creepy, weird, both of them wearing red video, talking about how much they care about Maui and how they demand that you pay money to the people of Maui while they, the billionaires, sit there and gobble up your money in order to protect their favorite little vacation spot. Well, this has been received exactly how you'd think it has been received very, very poorly. The top comments here are, where were you the night of the fire, Oprah? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And as Oprah posts more stupid, dumb, mewling videos about walking through the 2,000 acres of land that she owns in Maui. Well, that's interesting. Why does Oprah own so much land? Here's a video of her wandering through because she has so much land. Has he ever? Has she offered any of that land to the people who are displaced by the Maui fires? Has she lifted a finger for these people? Oh yeah, baby. We'll show you in just a second exactly how Oprah's finger works. Check out some of the comments on here though. I just gotta see this. Stop buying land in Hawaii. <laughs> it's the first most liked comment. 1,000 acres, what's it for? Why are you oh, you and all your good friends there trafficking? Give back what belongs to the people of Hawaii. Ooh, baby, that's hot. Billionaires like Oprah Winfrey are orchestrating the fires to grab valuable land in Maui from indigenous populations. Oh, boy. Yikes, here we go. How are you not canceled yet? She's. How about you donate your land back to the people of Lahaina if you actually cared about them rather than making some corny videos asking the average suffering American to give to your fraud? Stop stealing native Hawaiian land, please. Man, unbelievable. She's just, get, she's just getting destroyed. Oprah's getting destroyed over this. And she rightfully is getting destroyed because people aren't buying it, meaning literally people aren't donating. Check this out. This is directly from her TikTok. Here's a screen recording of how that fundraiser is going thus far. Back and forth. And I read this okay, article. So let's that click on the donation link. Let's see. 118 donors. $4,000 raised total from this video. This is from The Rock's account. Let's go ahead and check Oprah's account. Concerned about what was happening in Maui, that we were texting back and forth. So this is from and Oprah. Let's I read this article that Dolly The support link, it'll show us, oh, less than The Rock, 4.6K, 95 donors. She can't even crack 100 donors. She had multi-millions of followers. She has 100 million followers across all of her social media, and she can't crack 95 donors. She can't get... This is insane. They can't raise $10,000 together? This is so unbelievably pathetic. This is so shockingly, repulsively pathetic. And people are right. People are just right to call her out in her fraudulence. Now, Oprah released a video in a giant 10-gallon hat looking like a Muppet here, apparently, for some reason that is inexplicable to me. Uh, she released a video bragging that they have $10,000, 10,000 individual donors. Uh, okay, where the hell are they? They sure aren't on TikTok. Now, here is a uh, screenshot of the donations on Instagram. So you can see here the donations are much higher here than on TikTok. And they're saying that they're, that, they're, that there's like, that they're close to their fundraising goal. But again, they're billionaires. Ladies and gentlemen, their fundraising goal was $1 million. They're billionaires. Again, th this lady is the one buying up 2,000 acres in Maui. So this is what crisis communications looks like. This is a crisis for Oprah. This is why they're doing this. They're not doing this out of the goodness of their own heart. They're doing this because they are facing a crisis in the press. So Oprah owns thousands of acres of this island. She hasn't given a single acre to the people who've been displaced. Oprah saw headlines like this. Oprah silent amid Maui fires as desperate Hawaii residents beg for celebrity billionaires with homes on the island to help. 
Now, Oprah is far from the only billionaire on the island. There is Jeff Bezos' home. There is Larry Ellison, owns like this entire island, effectively. Uh, there are, you know, a lot of rich people on this island, Owen Wilson, Clint Eastwood. There are rich people on the island, but Oprah, right here, Oprah's land, as you can see here, sort of like sits in a way that you could like, sort of look out at all the fires burning from her massive palatial estate. It was only a matter of time before people were like, wait a second, Oprah, didn't you like give away a bunch of cars at one point? Like, why are you doing nothing for the people that empty your trash cans and cut the primrose on your bushes and pick little fruits from your garden? This is a photo that'll probably come back to bite her. Oprah's farm. Hmm. Wow, Oprah on her own website. Take a sneak peek at Oprah's Hawaii Garden Bounty. It's bountiful life, indeed. <laughs> it's crisis PR. That's what's going on. Oprah's not raising any money from this. Oprah's a billionaire. A billion means a thousand million, right? So that to to million dollars, a thousand times. That's a billion dollar. Oprah has four of those. They say $3.5 billion. It's a rounding error. So that's what Oprah is. And Oprah's sitting here trying to raise, bragging about raising nearly $1 million. Oh, okay. Got it. Really kind of you, Oprah. It's also a crisis because, well, Oprah has published these glossy uh, images of her home calling it the perfect 21st century farmhouse, saying she wanted to tear down the ordinary little gray ranch, the ordinary home, which is probably like a, a home beyond the wildest dreams of the people who actually live there. She wanted to tear it down. But now she's rehabilitated it, and she even got a horse to stand out front for the photo. Look at this. From this beautiful little ensconced blanketed rocking chair, Oprah can watch all the fires on the island, knowing that she has a private fire department to protect her house. Allegedly, this is according to the Atlanta Black Star. Oprah Winfrey phrases accusations of hiring private firefighters to protect her massive estate during Maui fire, thus stealing resources from the people on the island. Now, we have not been able to validate this. We will simply reveal to you what has been posted online this is the post. This is allegedly a woman, uh, certainly not a donate, uh, a donor to Oprah's Little People's Fund, uh, but this is a woman who says that Oprah hired private firefighters to protect her house. We will certainly be following this story. We do find it weird that they deleted her account for making these accusations. That's what's happening. This account is private. Uh, and the in the comment sections, the people who've remixed uh, her. TikTok say that they removed the sound, so this woman is not allowed to speak. Yikes. How about this People's Fund of Maui? Why does this thing only have 13,000 followers? Like, you're getting tagged and promoted by The Rock. The Rock has 390 million followers. Got it? 390 million. Uh, how many followers does Oprah have? 22 million. Okay, so, I mean, a lot less than The Rock. But still, between the two of you, you have close to a half a billion followers and you can't raise $5,000 for your stupid fund. People are calling them out. There are also, a lot of people are saying that this fund is in association with the entertainment industry. Uh-oh. So this is the EIF, the Entertainment Industry Foundation. You'll see this fund is associated with Barack Obama, extreme left-wing Barack Obama, uh, the climate grifters over here, uh, Haitian fundraising, uh, LOL, and uh, who else? Oh, Colin Kaepernick, got it, and Cher, and Charlize Theron. Uh, ooh, baby, that's, there's a dark story there. Uh, maybe we need to look into at some point. Charlize Theron's uh, uh, outreach in Africa. Yeah. 
None of these people are ever actually, they're not good spirited people. They're awful, wretched, horrible, cretinous people uh, that use foundations like this in order to project the image of them having value, uh, of them having virtues. That's why you call it a virtue signal. So this is, I think it's worth noting though, that according to Charity Navigator, which I use a lot, okay, in our donations, we try and be generous in our family and, and give to charities and donations. Uh, St. Jude's is an awesome organization that, that, that we donate to. The Entertainment Industry Foundation does have a 94%, which is very good. It's considered a four-star charity, which means that a lot of the money that goes there goes toward uh, the, the mission or the goal of the charity. So I think it's worth pointing that out. I mean, obviously, right? The fundraising efficiency. The Charity Navigator is a great site, so you should, you should go check in. If these scores are like low on Charity Navigator, if it's like 50%, it's like a bad it is it that means it's a bad charity and a ton of the money that you're giving goes actually towards a ton of the money that you're giving does not go towards the mission it goes towards administrative costs and executive costs and so on because the people's fund of maui this is their this is their website here and you can see that it is a function of the entertainment industry foundation you see that up there the url eif foundation the people fund of maui is just a landing page on the eif foundation so Fundraiser doesn't seem to be going well. The responses have been abysmal to this. Um, and we're certainly not the only ones to notice how strange it is that the Entertainment Industry Foundation are the ones who are uh, effectively running this whole thing. It does seem a bit odd that. Uh, again, we're not the only ones to notice. The People's Fund of Maui. Oprah's video has been up for the majority of the day, raking in a good 400,000 views and a simply astonishing ratio, but has only managed so far to raise $3.44,000. With a good chunk of that being this anonymous donor up here, but look at this. This is from Dwayne Johnson's video with the little donor icon, and he has raised $1.66,000. So a total of about $5,000 with over a million views between the two of them. But look at this anonymous donor right here at $500. Anonymous donor, my that's them donating to their own fund to make it look legit. To maybe even dabble into your competitiveness to wanting to be the highest donor. Keep sharing the video and keep ratioing the shit out of them. And the comments did not disappoint. Listen, I have seen videos from people who are liberal with pronouns. I have seen videos from people from the right. I have seen videos from all people from all walks of life telling other people not to donate to this. We're going to make Oprah eat that $10 million. And let me tell you something else. There are more people out here who are awake than I think we even realized. This had happened even maybe just two years ago, okay? Everybody would have fallen all over it. It would have raised 10, 20 million dollars by the end of the day, and they barely broke 5,000. This is it, this is how we cancel them. This is how we cancel them. You ready for that? Like, share, and subscribe to End Communism. It's your boy, Benny. See ya.